Hey guys, here I am again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And this time we're demonstrating a full Delco system conversion. Uh, this comes from Mark in uh, Sugarland, Texas. Uh, Mark has requested the uh, modern internal conversion uh, to... Uh, basically replace all the old electronics with new stuff and uh, in the early days of stereo FM uh, GM did kind of a weird thing uh, this radio the radio itself is a mono AM FM radio but it has a provision to make it stereo with a, a nine pin connector that goes into a multiplex adapter which is what's on top of here um, now uh, on a radio conversion, the multiplex circuitry and the right channel amplifier is going to be inside the radio unit itself, so there's no need for the multiplex circuitry on this or the right speaker amplifier, so this is now just a pass-through for the right speaker output so that, uh, so that Mark can still mount everything the way it was and plug everything back in the way it was before. Uh, this is just a pass-through for the right speaker. So, alrighty, now we're going to go ahead, and he's also got his 8-track player, which, since I don't have the master harness for the system, I'll have to test the 8-track player separately. Uh, and then now the 8-track player passes the speakers onto the radio when there's no tape inserts, so we're going to make sure it does that too. So for right now, let's go ahead and set the turn the radio on. I've got it set to FM, to the one strong station I get, and it's going to be a quick quick test because uh, we don't want to get nailed for copyright issues. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on to the AM station. Okay, now we're going to go to FM, and I got all five stations. Preset the station to my area. Win your own Anna and Ravens. Okay, that one drifts a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we can find. It's really just for, you know, every talk radio. It's just the water. Okay, gonna check our thing, uh, you know, virtual left-right balance to put control. Up conspiracy out there, but how often do you order ten of something? Don't you usually get a dozen? Yeah, okay, left, right, balance. balance. They're usually sold in a dozen. Balance, adjust. Okay. These, these mugs. All the way left. Pups. All the yeah, way right. They already miss it. Left. That's all I'm saying. We don't right. have them. All right, so you can win okay, one every day this them. week by playing Craigslist prices right. And balance balance set. is set. Super easy. Okay, and as you can see, the FM stereo light lights up on a stereo station. So you can see that lighting up when an FM stereo station is received. Next, though. Do you ever find yourself out somewhere? Okay, so we know the radio is good, so let's go ahead and uh, unhook all this stuff, and we're going to hook up the 8-track player and make sure that everything works on it before we send all this cool stuff back. All righty. Just going to just take a moment to undo this wiring and attach it to other things. Okay, so our multiplex adapter's out of the system. And then there's the... Uh, and then here's here's the the actual multiplex adapter that contains the right channel amplifier and the FM stereo multiplex circuitry that we don't need anymore. So all it is now is uh, the radio plugs into this uh, this uh, socket right there. I've reconfigured it so that it's just a pass through for the right speaker. There's your right speaker wire so that uh, Mark can just plug it right back in. So we're going to set this radio aside. And we're going to hook up the 8-track real quick and make sure that everything's cool on it before we send it back. Okay, so there's our Okay, and there's our there's our FM radio with the, with this big old harness that goes to the multiplex adapter. So just set that aside and now we're gonna hook up the 8-track player and make sure everything's cool on that. Okay, so here's our 8-track. Alright, I'm just gonna get some power and speakers to it real quick. Okay, power. Alrighty, left speaker. And right speaker. Okay, then we just gotta get some grounds hooked up here. And probably just use this for a ground. Let's see, we need two more ground connections. So we've got one going. Oh, this one should be fine like here as well. And this will go in the screw for a nice ground. All right, so now we got the 8-track ready to test. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pop in the tape, make sure it works. Make sure I get everything hooked up right. I think I do. Okay. 
end of a song there, so it'll be a good time to check for crosstalk between Okay, no crosstalk between songs, that's good. Okay, still blank there. Okay, so we know the tape works. Let's make sure that it passes a signal to the radio when there's no tape inserted. Now you're just going to be able to, you'll, you'll be able to just barely hear these test tones. And we don't need the power on for this test. You'll just barely be able to hear them, but they will be, they should be audible. You won't see them on the meters either. So. Alright, so. We're going to get output. Get it up right, and that's good there. And this one also for the right, and this one will be the left. Okay, so we heard those. We heard those tones. That means it's sending the the 12 volt power and the output signals to the radio or to the speakers to the radio instead of to the A track. So this confirms that everything is working properly. Uh, AM, FM both work on the radio. All the presets work. A track is fully functional. Switches tracks. We got volume and tone balance. And uh, so that takes care of that. She's ready to go back and I'm ready to move on to the next video. So I'm Barry with Barry's A track and classic car radio repair. To reach me for service, please visit the website in the description below. And if you download and print a work order before calling me with a bunch of questions, you'll find that the work order answers most, if not all, of your questions as you're filling it out. So uh, please do that research before calling me. Uh, the more time I spend on the phone, the less time there is on the bench to put my quality workmanship into the into the job. So uh, please do that research. And of course, I'm happy to talk to you. Uh, if you need to call me for any reason, of course, I'm happy to talk to you as well. So uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. And thank you, Mark, for your second job from uh, Sugarland, Texas. And we'll see you guys next time.